Hey, this is Gino with Music Villa, and today on Gino Likes, we're going to talk about the Vibrawood Superlight Classic Instruments. Um, I'm going to tell a little bit of story. Uh, I'm a bass player, at least used to be, um, and all through my adult life, I've worked in the music industry, and people always have this great reverence and excitement about about Fender basses, Fender P basses in, in particular. For me, every player is different. For me, I have had a really hard time ever being comfortable. I'm a person who needs my instruments to feel good first, and then I feel like I can make them sound like anything. In my entire career, maybe I've been handed one P bass that I was like, yeah, I, I, can, I could play this. Generally what I do when somebody asks me to play one is I play the low E string a little bit and I tell them, man, this sounds wonderful. So, uh, and by the way, what you heard is just, we're just going direct into this uh, Gensler Magellan 800 head right into our, our recording rig today. Um, what was really interesting, last week we got these uh, Vibrawood instruments in from a good friend of ours uh, in Pennsylvania who, who builds several different lines of guitars and he also runs some retail stores. And John, our buddy, is a really, really excellent bass player. And Paul asked me to come down and, and try these instruments. And so he hands me this uh, 1958 P-Bass copy. And the first thing I notice is, just when he hands it to me, for some reason, I like it. And I play it, and I'm like, wow. There's the second P-Bass. By the way, the other one was probably an early 60s one that you know nobody can afford or touch. Um, I loved the instrument. Um, he handed me the 68 copy. There's the third P-Bass I've liked. I, I love both these instruments. So uh, I got on the phone with John. I was like, what's the deal? Um, they look like really cool vintage instruments. They sound really wonderful. Uh, and uh, obviously, I noticed all my instruments are lighter weight, 24 fret. They, they hang really nice. These things are super lightweight. So I got on the phone with John, and this is what I want to talk about today. This is really neat. He has been a player and, and collector of vintage uh, guitars and basses his whole life, and he's owned tons of them. And what he really said is he always felt that, that uh, a lot of times the form of the instrument was more important than the function, and he didn't want to do that. So what, what John actually did is these, these instruments function wonderfully. Uh, you can see here, I'm sure we'll do some close shots, some of my favorite tuners in the history, these are hip shot tuners. So the tuners are, are you know, a wonderful ratio, they're smooth, they're, they're top, top of the line. Uh, the balance is wonderful, and these instruments are super lightweight. And uh, they're made of polina wood, and that's the same wood that Brad Paisley's Telecaster is actually made out of. And uh, the thing that John explained to me is the trees that were harvested for instruments back in the, in the 40s and 60s were actually, uh, they, they were a little bit lighter weight, apparently. Um, I, I would have thought they'd be more dense. I know there's some wood in my house that I can barely get a screw in, but uh, the instrument wood, and I've always found that for me, is lighter weight instruments seem to sound really, really wonderful. So I, I just can't, I'm so excited about these. Um, I'm not a vintage guy. I can't tell you why this is a 58 and why that's a 68. I'm sure most of you watching could straighten me out on that. Uh, we're also going to get some guitars in. At this point, we have a wonderful Telecaster here. Um, I just really urge you to come in and check these out. I mean, they're, they're really affordable. The, the thing that's neat, uh, John said, you know, he's got some vintage instruments he just can't take out. It's, I mean, they're worth, you know, upwards of $10,000, $20,000. You can't gig with those things. So what's really, really fun about what he wanted to do is he wanted to have an instrument that looked and sounded and felt and played like his nice vintage instruments. And that was the motivation behind um, Vibrawood. So um, we're excited to start doing some things with Vibrawood. We'd like your input. Come on to the store, play them, uh, call us with questions. And that's what I'm going to say about Vibrawood. So have a great day.